Well, hello there, my darlings. It's Wednesday, and I'm here with a speed build. Very strange putting out a speed build on a Wednesday. But as I said, my office is boiling hot. So you're probably going to be getting two speed builds this week because they're much easier to record. Um, and I'm not in my office sweating my absolute minge off, my loves. Anyway, hello. Welcome to Copper Mine Apartments. This is part of Let's Build the Worlds for Brindleton Bay. I really wanted to do something a little bit different with this. We've, we've kind of done this sort of aspect before where we've built an apartment block and then did separate characters, separate apartments. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna mix things up a little bit with this one because we're actually gonna be creating the Sims moving into here in cast together as well, which is something that I don't really do on the channel, but I love creating my favorite thing to do apart from building is create a sim cas i know there was a couple of people who was a bit confused at what cas is cas is just a shortened way of saying create a sim which is yeah just creating some lovely sims but anyway hello here we are we are at copper mine apartments copper mine apartments is an old 18th century mine that used to mine copper you know it's in the name um and it's been converted lovingly into seven separate apartments so i'm actually going to keep one of those apartments um completely freeze in case one of your sims wants to move in with this household and then i'm going to uh, furnish and also make the sims for six of those apartments so that's what's going to go on darlings yes um it's also you i'm going to say it, i'm going to say it in every video because i'm probably going to get someone saying why is your audio so crispy and the reason is i've got my fanny flopping about in the office darling um, and by Fanny, I mean Fan. I just like to... I'm a child and Fanny means... Um, why am I going into this? Uh, in this, like, build? We, we all know what Fanny means in the UK. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Got that flopping around my office. Anyway, look. Look at us. So I used that lovely stone from Jungle Adventure. The one with, like, the mossy detail in the middle. Um, and I love putting the the cleaner version of it with the mossy version in patches it kind of like makes it look like there's been sort of um yeah just moss still growing on this build i still wanted this build to kind of reflect on its heritage cornwall was the mining capital of the world back in the 18th century so a lot of things were mined here or here um copper tin the lot darlings we were doing it all um, but if you've ever watched Pole Dark, you will know how big the copper industry was because I love a bit of Pole Dark, me. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to do for this. So I, I really wanted to create a, a modern contemporary apartment block, but still kind of very big. Sorry, I just banged my desk then. Um, still with a very big nod back to the heritage of the mining industry and also how original this build looked really there has been a few sort of modern additions here and there but i really wanted the build itself to look like it's um an old build that's just been converted into apartments so that's what we're doing now down here i thought this was a lovely little place for maybe the residents could come and just get away from the world for a bit sunk down in a level hidden by a hedge and i put like a picnic table and stuff down here out the back i do it like well you probably saw that big swim pool area um with its own kind of changing rooms and gym it's got its own gym as well so shared gym pool for the residents that are going to be moving in here um so seven apartments six of those apartments are more studio apartments apart from a separate bathroom um but they're very small they're very small so it's going to be kind of cute and a bit of a challenge to uh, try and even furnish these because we're going to be getting some layouts darlings going on we really are we're going to be getting some layouts and um, trying to get configured with these small amounts of space so most of the apartments will be for a single sim apart from one i've got a family in mind for a bigger one one of the big the biggest apartment is on the ground floor and it's got kind of a separate bedroom and it's also um got a garden or like a little courtyard area so that one there's probably maybe the most expensive uh of the apartments to rent out i would imagine like a few of these are rented maybe a few of them are also um bought as well but apartment living is a bit difficult in the sims because it doesn't really work um so you have to what i do is tend to lock the doors 
for all the individual sims and they kind of stay in their own sort of areas um so that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do for this now ignore a few things ignore that glass thing that i did kind of connecting the builds together we changed that up a little bit and also ignore the roof texture the mossy kind of roof texture i end up getting rid of that it still looks really nice but i was thinking like we've got enough moss on the actual build itself with the wallpaper and stuff so i end up getting rid of that i get rid of that and um i put on a cleaner cleaner roof texture i do i put on a clean one and it just kind of fits in a bit better so i really wanted a way of kind of connecting these this build in without kind of destroying the look of the original build itself so you can see i kind of like hid it all behind the back of the house here even ignore what i'm doing here now with all of this glass paneling and all of those glass tiles on the roofs and stuff it just wasn't working out for me i kept looking at it and i was like oh you don't really look good you don't really look good so i end up changing that up a little bit i wanted it to look a little bit more less permanent i did kind of like concrete wall textures on this bit here when really i wanted it to kind of reflect um the fact that it could easily be taken away if you know what i mean taken away and not sort of like permanent to this structure of the house so that's what i end up doing that is what i end up doing um and you'll see in a little bit how it changes towards the back yes yes you will so there may be a little bit of a gap between the speed build and the videos when we actually go on to furnish these apartments so you're gonna have to excuse that loves because i've still got a big 64 by 64 farmhouse to do um but i reckon we could be there in a, maybe a couple of weeks we'll 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 fast forward with let's build the worlds next week and i'm probably going to do a little bit off of camera with that farm as well so yes anyway ignore all this as well i went with like a warmer wood in the beginning and um, with more wooden textures and i was like no i don't like the contrast so we end up changing the texture of this wood out the back as well but i much prefer how it kind of looks a little bit less permanent compared to um what we had before this is what we end up going with that kind of wood texture and that door as well i can't remember what those door that door and that wood texture is from actually because i don't tend to use them a lot but um i use them here i use them here so this speed build is obviously mainly going to be the exterior but i also show you how i furnish a couple of the communal areas including the reception um the gym area and the showers but also one of the apartments as well i actually found furnished one of the apartments the empty one um just so you guys can kind of get an idea of the kind of layout i'm going to try and go for for quite a few of them i would imagine there's like an architecture firm that took over this build to kind of sort of renovate it so they kind of had an idea of how and um not why <laughs> That's the wrong word to use, but how this, the apartment should be laid out for best use of space and whatnot. Um, but that's what we're going to do. Out the front here as well, I connected this little bridge over this way because I reminded myself that I needed to um, get a car park in here. So we end up kind of connecting in the main entrance over with a bridge over that kind of like communal space that's kind of sunk into the ground. So that's what we end up doing. Lots of skylights as well. So each of the top sort of studio apartments i've got a big huge skylight that goes over the whole living area as well which is absolutely glorious i would probably imagine these apartments are kind of expensive to maybe rent and also very expensive to maybe buy um that happens a lot there um there's a place where i live uh, called the royal william yard and it's an old military kind of like i think it was like a naval base or something i'm unsure really i know it was used as several things over the years but they've kind of converted that into new apartments and those apartments they're absolutely tiny they are tiny and they're very expensive <laughs> they're very very expensive so this was kind of um inspired that was kind of inspired for this um so yeah that's what i did so car parking spaces loves end up getting in i think about seven cars no four five six six car space car park spaces um which is an ample amount i reckon i know there's seven apartments but we can just pretend one of them doesn't drive you know um so that's what i end up doing filling it filling in this these spaces here and it just worked out perfectly well to get in a few cars and have a nice little car park here i have a lovely little car park now i can't wait to go in and 
make the sims for this i really really can i've i've got all of the sims already planned um and i cannot wait to develop the kind of like houses a little bit further but we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that i wasn't gonna bring this build up for quite a while or maybe next week sometime or even the week after because i wanted it to be closer to when we were actually going to be making the sims and like actually furnishing the apartments but because of this weather the weather we're having right now in um the uk i've had to kind of like yeah falter on videos a little bit um and obviously i wasn't here last week either so it's all gone up the shitter to be honest with you darlings um but i'm just making the best of it making the best of it and i'm sure you're still going to enjoy what we're actually doing now as well so what i wanted to do was i wanted to get a little bit more ivy on this build i wanted a little bit more greenery on the sides and i think this is where i started to think that the roof tile was a little bit too green the mossy kind of roof texture so i cannot remember what roof texture i used to be honest with you um, so it will be a surprise for all of us. Yes, it will. Lots of lights as well. Lots of lights. I end up changing the lights that I just put on the entrance to the car park there and put them on the outside. Just to match in with the other entrance lights that we've got over on the left there. Um, because, yeah, it was just looking a bit weird. Looking a bit weird. Blue, are you okay? Can you hear him in the background? He's trying to get comfy. It's too warm for Blue as well. He's got his own personal fan though, so he is cooling himself down. Um... But yeah, lots of greenery as well. Lots of greenery in this build. I really love seeing this kind of build when it's got just, it's been littered with greenery. It's the same with even like, well, this is an industrial build. It's just a very old industrial build. Um, and I just love seeing the greenery against it. I just love that juxtaposition between um, those two kind of like styles. Love it. It's my fave. So out into the back, out into the back kind of communal area. As I said, I really wanted to have uh, an outdoor pool. And I reckon this is an outdoor heated salt water pool, loves. Honestly, they are very bougie here. So I reckon they go to town um, and have their own outdoor heated um, salt water pool. I mean, that would be lush, to be honest with you, wouldn't it? Good for your skin and whatnot. Um, so that's what we end up doing. <laughs> that's what we end up doing it. And I sink down a little bit further as well. Just for privacy with a nice high wall too. So no sims can be peeking over at your pasties while it's getting splashed in the pool. Um, and I just like the idea of it. Really do. And I thought this build here, this little tiny um, gym slash toilet area. I reckon this was a new part of the build i reckon i don't reckon this was original that's why i've changed the stone to it slightly but i still tried to marry in the stone kind of color with the actual original build itself just so it kind of like blends in but still looks very kind of contemporary compared to um the actual original look looking build there we go oh um my brain i reckon when i get when it gets hotter as well my brain cells start to go a little bit too i tend to make a lot more stupid choices and um a lot more mistakes when it's far too warm <laughs> so that's me for you there darlings that's me for you um but yeah nice size pool as well i think that's going to be an ample amount with lots of sun loungers around this pool as well so all of the residents can come and just chill out swim by the pool it's got an outside dining area here and also a communal garden as well down in this little bit so maybe they've got herbs and stuff where they can come down and grab for when they're cooking um just wanted that kind of vibe not a huge garden and they've all got those hydroponic planters as well so i think they're self-watering um I th the ones from eco lifestyle um so they won't even need a sexy gardener um for this one sadly but yeah love it so as i said sun lounges end up going through are these base game i can't remember if those sun lounges are base game or not i can't remember um they certainly came with something i just don't remember which ones they came with or which pack or if they were base game but yeah love them love uh, wedding stories maybe maybe they came with that pack i'm unsure but i just think the style of them kind of fit in well with the pool area down here and i think i managed to get about eight in which is quite a substantial amount just in case some of them have guests over as, as well they can use their their pool and whatnot and then this is where i but in a little a little dining area as well a little dining nook down here not even necessarily dining nook just somewhere where they can come sit eat drink be merry you know 
Um, and that's what I'm following. And this is those planters that I was just going on about. So we fit them in this area down here. I just think it fits in and blends in beautifully. And I end up putting lots of trees and stuff down on this area again in these little planters. I still love this object. This was from City Living. It's such an old object, but I, I tend to use it in a lot of my commercial or like community sort of builds. I just think they work really well. Um, so I thought they worked well here too. I'm going to put some ivy up on this wall. We'll put some soil down. Um, and it just works. I think it just works. I, as I said earlier, I just love seeing greenery against like sort of cement and cool grey colours. I just think it works really, really well. So that's what we do. That is what we do. And I just think it really kind of like blends in quite nicely as well with, with the rest of it. And again, obviously outside lighting. So I use these um, base game sort of like lights I, again they work really well on your modern contemporary kind of uh community commercial lots that's what i did that's what i did around here bloody love it bloody love it darlings um where are we going now we're moving on so we're starting to work into the interiors a little bit now so this is the gym area very simple very minimal um very contemporary i think i put in two treadmills and a kind of weights machine and i just think it yeah i think it's an ample amount of room in here ample amount of room and i don't know it just looks like it would be in some kind of like fancy apartment block or even a hotel i would love to be able to build hotels i really wish that hotels were a thing in the sims 4 i think maybe in the future they could be considering how long they said the sims 4 is going to go on for so here's hoping here's hoping because i would love to see that gameplay dynamic in the game with hotels being able to build them i'd be very interested very interested indeed two separate showers as well two separate toilets um yeah i just think it works very well very well ignore those doors as well i changed the positioning of those doors once i put the sinks in i think um they were just far too close together on the outside but you know sometimes you've just made you've got to make make these mistakes to move on to be honest um, but they do change, does change around quite nicely. And this is the main kind of reception area. So I reckon this would probably be staffed with maybe uh, someone who comes and gets all your mail sorted. Maybe errands can be run from the person on the desk. Um, you know, just that kind of like sort of like lobby as aspect, really. Even security, maybe they've, um, yeah, maybe they've got a little weapon behind the desks to bonk anyone on the head who just comes in and tries to nick your biscuits i don't know how these things work but i just thought this was a nice little area to kind of have that vibe in here um and that's what we do that is what we do down here i just think it's cute i just think it's cute i like seeing this especially in an apartment block um even like if you've got guests and they don't know they can come in and wait for you to come down i don't know you know the world is your oyster darling so we're into as I said, one of the apartments that I just fully furnished. I fully furnished it and you guys can make the decision on what to do with it um, if you so wish. So I separated off the bedroom. Um, I really want to have, still have a feel of separation in, in the studio apartment. So I do that with privacy screen and we go for very muted tones in here. Lots of light um, timbers throughout this whole build so i really wanted i really wanted that aspect in here i didn't want to go for a dark industrial vibe of this place i really wanted it to be very light um, and bright so that's where a lot of the choices come with the interior furnishings for this um one it might change it depends on who we're going to be sort of like building for you know they've got their own tastes and whatnot but we're going to pretend that most of these apartments are maybe rented so you can't really change a lot of the walls and floors anyway so that's what's going to happen it's just going to be a case of trying to match in the furniture with the personalities and the colors of what the apartments already are darlings but yeah nice and i still managed to fit in quite a bit a full kitchen a little living area um a bedroom with his walk-in wardrobe and whatnot you know modular wardrobe even and even a small dining space as well which i used um some counters and bar stores with that i just thought yeah do you know what i'm for it um dream home decorator came in really handy um i can't believe that this swatch here matched in okay it's a little bit slightly warmer than the floor but we're gonna look past that um 
Yeah, I just had a lot of fun. It would be very interesting to see if I could furnish one of these apartments with custom content because that would just make my day, darlings. And speaking of custom content, we will be getting a, another speed build out tomorrow and that one will be with some custom content as well. And it's a very modern contemporary. Um, just play around. I think you guys are going to be excited for it. So you'll have another speed build to look forward to tomorrow. Um, and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave you now anyway. We're on the bathroom, obviously. We're doing the bathroom things. But I'm going to leave you here, my darlings. Um, the video tour is coming up. And I will be back tomorrow with another speed build. Goodbye.